Good morning, guys. So, I want to read this morning from James, chapter 5, verses 19 and 20. My brethren, if any among you strays from the truth and one turns him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from the error of his way will save his soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. So, um, I read this and I'm trying to get understanding from the Holy Spirit for what it, what it might mean. And I think what I'm hearing from the Spirit on this is that if you start to stray and go the wrong way and, and, and start doing your own thing, stop, you know, you start going a cucaracha or whatever, um, and a brother or sister in Christ called you out and helps you realize what you've done and you come to repentance then let that person know how them calling you out on your stuff snapped you out of it and helped you return back to Jesus and to Christ and to God um, and thank them because that one act of whatever they said or did to snap you out of your of your sin or or your falling or your backsliding that one act of kindness to get you to realize where you were going wrong could prevent you from doing a multiple of things that would actually probably um, what's the word I'm trying to find? Something like cas cascading, but it's not cascading. I guess multiply. You know, you know, like the saying so uh, goes that you know, one lie begets more more lies to cover the other lie, and, and it's a vicious cycle. Well, that one stopping point. Or that one call out that snapped you back into sense could have prevent you from going uh, going down a uh, going down a downward spiral um, that would be very hard to get yourself out of. Of course, we all know though the one who truly forgives and saves us from ourselves is Jesus Christ. And when we say yes to him, when we believe of his virgin birth, of his sinless life, his death on the cross, and then his victory over death itself when he rose from the grave, and then ascended to be at the right hand with, with God, and we confess our sins, and we... Um, My mind went blank. We confess our sins and we repent. Go the other way. Stop doing what we were doing wrong in the first place to try to be more like Christ. Um, it, uh, it helps us from tearing ourselves down. And it helps us from he keeps us from wrecking ourselves when we turn back to him and sometimes he will use a brother or sister in Christ to snap us out of that so when that does happen be sure to thank that person 
and let them know how profound and how much they helped you from going down a path that would inevitably be more devastating than you could possibly imagine. But remember, at the root of, all, of it all, it's Christ's blood that made it possible for your sins to be give, forgiven. So with that, I love you guys. You have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.